All right. Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. We've got the desk uh, a little cluttered. We're going to clear it off. I think we're going to go ahead and mount the new Vertex repeater there. So let me get all this taken care of, and you can watch me set it up. All right, we got a few of the things moved, as you can see. We got the repeater up on the table. Let me just move a few more things around, and we'll start talking about this bad boy and hooking it up. All right, we're making some progress. We've got the duplexer mounted, got the repeater in place. We got all the patch cables hooked up. We got the big stick hooked up to the center right there. So let me tinker around a little more and see if we can get this bad boy working. All right, now that everything is hooked up, kind of have everything set halfway up. Uh, this is a rack mount repeater. Um, there are going to be repeaters like this that you're going to have a receive radio here, a transmit radio there. They're exposed. Um, you have a power supply and all that. Everything on this particular uh, model is internal. So I'm going to bring you back here to the back. We have the transmit patch cable that goes from the transmit side up to the transmit side of the duplexer. On this end you have your receive patch cable that comes in to the receive side of your duplexer and then this is in and out from the big antenna up top. Um, there's no control function of this. This is a 16 channel uh, Vertex, you can see there, VXD R70. It's a 40 watt unit. It has 16 channels, but the, the long and short of it is, uh, unless you need the 15, you really don't need the 15 other channels. Uh, we're just working on channel one. There are other channels programmed into here, but the problem you run into is if your duplexer isn't tuned for the other channels and it it's going to work, but it's it's not going to be at its best. So this one has been programmed for our frequency here at the uh, Medina County, Texas GMRS shack. Um, this this radio, just in case you're wondering, this is just a base unit, right? Um, that's what the the mic is for. So this and this have nothing to do with the repeater itself. Um, I just did a uh, radio check with. One of the guys in the group from he's a couple of miles away um and he was sounding much more clear than on the poor man's repeater um even though he was a couple of miles away you've got to remember on on the poor man's repeater you know you're using uh, a lot more inferior equipment right um it's it's taking the signal in. It's dumping it in this in this recording box, right? Like a like an old answering machine, and then automatically it's spitting it back out through the uh, through the amp and back up through the antenna. So I have a feeling, just because of the quality of of this unit, uh, we're going to get much better results. So I'll be doing some range testing with with it. We know how uh, far the service area was. Uh, with the old poor man's repeater and now we have this bad boy and we're going to see if we get anything different with it and I you know same antenna for now we, we will be upgrading that soon we're going to be upgrading it and making it taller um, so uh, you know stay tuned for, for that uh, keep checking out all of our videos 
once again, this is just a quick glimpse at it. I'll add in the range testing later just to see what kind of quality we're getting uh, out of this uh, much better unit than, than what we had been uh, testing with <laughs> over the last couple of years. So super excited to show you all even more. And we'll see you after I get the range testing done. Thanks.